This gun was printed from a 3D printer, and yes, that's legal. Thanks to a recent landmark ruling, it's now possible for anyone to distribute DIY gun blueprints online. Anyone can download the files and print them using a 3D printer, which makes the gun control debate a little more complicated. At the center is Cody Wilson, founder of Defense Distributed, who won his settlement against the State Department and is now legally allowed to upload his 3D gun instructions online. There are a few types of guns that can be made on 3D printers now, although none of them are you know, reliable or of any type of substantial commercial quality that you might expect in a, in a real gun. But it, this is doable. Like people, people can do it, and it doesn't take a ton of, a ton of knowledge or, or expertise. It might take a lot of patience. So how do you get from here to an actual working gun? First, you download the blueprints online. Then you print every individual part. It could be made out of plastics or metal. And then you assemble it together. According to Wilson, it can take as little as 24 hours to build a pistol on an average 3D printer. Welcome to my garage. Maybe you've seen this thing a few times on the internet already or in the media. This is the first 3D printable gun. The important thing though is that the plans themselves enable people to create and, and produce in discrete terms in a way that they, they weren't before. Are you guys ready? Stand back because we're gonna try science. Watch it. Five years ago, the State Department shut down Wilson's website because it violated international export laws. Wilson said the code was protected under the First Amendment right to free speech and sued. Last month, the State Department settled with Wilson, allowing him to share gun instructions online. Now, Wilson's website, DEFCAD, is back with gun blueprints available for free in August. Under the current law, you don't have to license or register a 3D printed firearm if it's intended for personal use and not for sale. That's why some people call 3D printed firearms ghost guns. They're unregistered and therefore untrackable. Critics like Adam Skaggs, chief counsel at the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence, tells the Washington Post it's going to make it easier for dangerous people, otherwise prohibited from getting guns, to get them. The National Rifle Association has called that gun, the AR-15, the most popular rifle in America. It is also the weapon of choice in some of America's deadliest mass shootings. AR-15 style rifles were used in the mass shootings at Parkland High School, Las Vegas, Newtown, and the Pulse nightclub. That blueprint for the AR-15 will be available on Wilson's website. I understand the argument that at, at some point, someone who's not allowed to own a gun uh, might make one for himself because of access to this information. But that was always already true before my case. My case didn't, didn't somehow change that. But now, to some degree, at the margins, like I might make that easier. And then in that regard, I admit that. But the problem here is that you have to draw lines about policing information and, and access to knowledge itself. Right now, buying guns is often cheaper than printing them. 3D printers range from a few hundred to several thousand dollars. But as 3D printers become more accessible and less expensive over time, accessing ghost guns may get easier. <laughs>